this shot, I don't want you to come in. First of all, you won't be able to get in, and I don't want you trying. You call Dawson, then you call the police, then you call Agnes. And you're gonna need something to do till somebody gets here. So you go ahead and watch that hot chocolate pan. And you keep watching that hot chocolate pan till you hear that doorbell ring. And I don't care if it's an hour, you keep watching that hot chocolate pan. Oh God, I don't need anything to do, I'm just gonna sit here. That's all I'm gonna do, just sit here. Well, that's up to you. I know it's up to me. That's what I'm going to do. Are you wondering what the police are going to say? Yeah, probably. Well, they'll do the gunpowder test, and then they'll ask you what happened. And by that time, the ambulance will be here. They'll come in. They'll come get me. You know how that goes. But you stay outside with Dawson, all right? You keep him outside. I don't want him in. I want the police in first, not Dawson, uh, okay? What if Loretta and Dawson want me to go with them? That is up to you. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Stay by the door. <laughs> well, maybe Agnes. Come stay with you oh, for a few days. God, no. I would so much rather be by myself. <laughs> Do you want me to give all of your things to people? Yes! I want Loretta to have my calculator. Dawson brought one, but then he saw another one he liked. He couldn't take both of them home the way Loretta would be counting them coins the way she'd be doing. So he gave it to me. It'd be funny for her to have it, don't you think? Oh, and you got some sleep slippers in the closet? Tell her they'll fit. They've never been worn. And you make sure Dawson hears that. Because, you know, I'm happy he loves Loretta so damn much. But I wish you knew that about that for size feet. All right, now. Now, this letter, it's for Dawson. But mostly, it's about you. It's just a list of 20 presents for the next Christmases and birthdays, you know. Think I think you like, you know. And so if you want something special, you better put it on it before you get them. Or if you want to be surprised, don't read it at all. But I think you'll like it. Things you'll never expect. Things you never think of. Well, I don't know when you did this. Was it when I was sleeping? I suppose. I try to be quiet about it. Don't think I want these things anyway. Just remind me of you. No, they won't. <laughs> They're just things I found around the house, like a free tube of toothpaste hanging on the door. Okay, then. Now, this is Cecil's number. I called him last week, so I know he still lives here. I wonder what you want me to tell him. Oh, tell him we talked about him, but we only had good things to say. But mostly, tell him to find Ricky, and tell Ricky that I have some for him, and he needs to come get it from me. What is it? My watch. Oh my God, he'll just sell it. That's the idea. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't already sell it already. You know, I hope it buys him a good meal. <laughs> if I had drugs with it. Then I hope there's some good drugs, Mama. Damn! <laughs> the rest of this is for you. So you don't want it? Yeah. It's a deal, but they know they're just things to look at, some brought presents, uh, things you may look at, some pictures, things you may think you've lost. You'll see. Look, I'm not taking them, because if I take them, they'll just remind me of you. No, they won't. It's just a free tube of toothpaste I found hanging on the door one day. Do you think it's about time we did my fingernails? Oh, it's time for you to go, Mama. It isn't time for you to go. Let me go, Mama. Oh, Jesse, come on. 
Let me go, Mama. I'm not going to let you go. Okay, now just, just stay here. I've said everything I've had to say. Come, just stay. It's really early. It's only 10 o'clock. I need Loretta and Dawson to be up and rest and to come right over. You know that they can get up and get dressed really, really quickly if they need to, don't you? You can't stop me, Mama. I'm going you can't to, do it. I can't I'm, stop you. I can stand here and stop you. Now just calm down. The only way you're going to get past me now is to push me over. Night, Mother! Jesse! Oh my God, come on out. I'm going to stay here until you come out. I'm not going to do anything you said. What was it you said anyway? Oh, good God, Jesse. I'll give Dawson your watch. That's what I'm going to do. I'll give him your watch and I'll tell Cecil what an absolute pig he is for making you feel the way you do. And I'm just going to sit here and wait for you to come out. I'm not going anywhere, Jesse. How the hell was I supposed to know you're lonely? I'm here with you all the time, day in, day out. Jess? Better. Can I speak to Dawson, please? 